Hi, I'm Terry with Terry Hound Associates. Today I'm at 116 Ridgewood Lane in York, South Carolina. Got a pretty nice house, three bedroom, two baths on a cul-de-sac. Uh, I've sold houses in this area before. This is a pretty good house. Need some cleaning and paint, and I'll show you why when we get inside. Other than that, I don't see a whole lot to do. So, let's go inside, take a look right now at 116 Ridgewood Lane. Okay, here we are in the house. Um, the first thing I noticed is somebody smoked, but they didn't smoke cigarettes. I suspect this was a kerosene heater because um, the color is not um, brown, it's black. And I think that's what they did. They had a kerosene heater in here. I'm not an expert, but that's what I can see. And you can see it on this wall to indicate it. So you don't have to come in here and clean the walls before you paint. Well, so this is the kitchen. I think the floor is going to be fine in here. And I think the carpet in this house, based on what you're going to use it for, could possibly be cleaned. Again, the ceiling needs a little cleaning and painting. Uh, is my indication from this kerosene. Right here behind me is the master bedroom. Um, same thing in here, clean the walls, paint, probably paint the ceiling, clean that light fixture up. And this carpet could come clean. I'm not a professional carpet cleaner. I've threatened to get somebody to come out here with me one time, but I'm always in a hurry to tell me if it can be cleaned or not. This is a master bath, and that's probably as clean a shower as I've seen. Again, we have that smoky looking look, which I, I suspect, again, I'm not uh, sure, but I think it's kerosene. Look at that nice vanity there. Not much to do with this house, clean and paint. Maybe, um, probably if it was me, my opinion is different than others. I'd go ahead and put out a new carpet since, I, I mean, it's going to look new when you get through with it. All right, down the hallway. Um, this is where that, that smoke was uh, the darkest, and that would be because there'd be a draft up through that drop down. Carpet not too bad, but I'll let you be the choice. Come out to the inspection, look it over. And you decide, but you know, spend a little more money and it'll be like uh, new money. Here's our uh, other bath. Again, it's pretty clean. I think that flooring will survive, and uh, plus the flooring in the kitchen, unless you just don't like the color. But there's nothing you're gonna do to this house that uh, you wouldn't do to buy any of them that you move in, clean them, paint them, and decorate like you want it. In here, the walls are good. This house not beat up, punched. It might be a little place or two you need some mud. Um, cut across, get a view back the other way. Clean and prep, do the paint. One more bedroom coming. This is our third bedroom. I know my speech is uh, a little boring by now, but it's the same old story. And carpet, again, you decide, but prep and paint, prep and paint. All right, why don't we head outside? All right, here we are. I've looked at this vinyl, I've looked at this roof. There's a couple of slats out of the uh, railing on the porch. And they had a blind hung up there and the wind's just blown it to pieces. So that'll have to be just cleaned up. But this vinyl looks good, it's all trimmed. You might wanna paint the shutters to brighten them up a little bit. Maybe paint the front door to match. Some people do that. And we need to get this tree off the house before it tears the shingles off. So you're gonna have to cut a few limbs off a bit. 
Um, this is not part of the maintenance crew that does this work on these houses to do that. Looks like your outdoor light might be over. Might want to touch up the paint around that door frame. Not a pretty decent looking deck. Somebody put a little stain on it because I see they got some on the side. And, and I think I saw one little hole about the size of a quarter back down there on the house in the uh, vinyl. You may have to look for it to find it. That's why I didn't point it out. And but I would get those limbs off right away. That would be the first thing. Other than that, not much to talk about on the outside of the house. Pretty nice looking backyard. So we'll end this tour and you be the high bidder. All right, that's going to end up our little tour here in York, South Carolina at 116 Ridgewood Lane. As you can see, pretty nice house, paint, maybe some carpet, and I think you can move in. I like this house, it's on a cul-de-sac. You don't have a lot of traffic down here. Uh, looks to be everybody takes care of the yard around here and pretty nice little neighborhood. Hey, just a couple tips before I go. Before you bid, read the contract package. That'll tell you all the details of the auction. It's all the documents, all the papers you're gonna have to sign. It tells you about the deposit on auction day. It tells you closing 30 days or less. It tells you about the attorney fees to get closed. Uh, it's 5,000 down that day and the balance in 30 days. It's not subject to a loan. It's not subject to getting the money from somebody, have the money lined up, know you have it to pay for the house when we go with the deal. Also, if you're a first-time bidder, then bid early in the process. Register, bid on the house. We start them at $1,000. You give two, I know. And uh, make sure your bidder number works. Then if you want to wait to the end, that's fine. But sometimes people input their information wrong and the computer won't allow them to bid. If you wait to the last minute to try to do all that, we're not going to be able to help you. Our phones are ringing and uh, everything's crazy there on auction day. And five minutes to go, not much we can do. So give us a few days to help you and make sure everything's working. Make sure you understand it. You can call us about anything as often as you need to. Our number's at the bottom of the screen, and we're there to help. We want to help you. We want this to be one of the easiest things you've ever done. All right, you can come out and inspect it on the day before the bidding ends. It'll be open from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. We open all our houses during those hours. So come out, look the house over, make sure you know what you're bidding on. My video today is certainly not an inspection, it's just a tour to give you an idea of whether you want to come out here or not. And then on auction day, we're not going to be here at the premises taking your bids. It's all on the internet. And so the place you want to log in is terryhow.com, and that's where you bid, that's where you buy. I thank you for looking at the video. Thank you for your participation in this auction. And we'll see you soon.